Maybe. It is. It's a bit too cold for a swim. <laughs> yes. I think I'll save that one. Thank you, Justin. Good afternoon. We have got some blue skies out there. A lot of dry weather, actually, over the next few days, but it is cold. I think the southwest have seen some of the best of the bright skies across the UK today. We have got a little bit more clouds starting to push in from the east, and we've got high pressure anchored across the United Kingdom for the next few days, right up until next week, actually. But the difficulty will be in determining how much cloud we're going to see underneath that area of high pressure. The next few days should be quite bright. We have got a bit more cloud out towards the west so for the Isles of Scilly West Cornwall here it could be thick enough for a little bit of drizzle most parts this afternoon will be dry a lot of bright weather out there but it is cold temperatures up at around six or seven degrees so as we go through tonight then I think we'll see some clear spells there will be some fairly dense patches of mist and fog particularly along southern coasts of Cornwall and Devon further north clear skies and for all of us it's going to be a colder night than last night I think we'll see a widespread frost some rural spots could get down as low as minus four so it is going to be cold and frosty to start tomorrow with. That mist and the fog will linger along the coast for some of us all day. Further inland, I think we'll see some sunshine and gradually we'll get that cloud pushing in from the west towards the tail end of the day. But again, a good deal of dry, bright weather. Temperatures on par with what we've got today at around five or six degrees. So we have got a lot of dry weather in the forecast. Friday, again, I think we'll see a lot of sunshine first thing. More cloud will start to build as the day goes on. As we head towards the weekend, I think the difficulty will be in terms of mist and fog. I think we'll see some fairly stubborn patches which could be slow to clear and that will affect our temperatures. The good news is, though, it will stay dry into the start of next week and temperatures will start to climb. Justin. Thanks very much, Pete.